there you are. I guess, I guess it's time to start. I don't know about you, but I kind of feel like Rip Van Winkle, the old fellow who went to sleep one night and woke up 20 years later to a brand new world. Now, it's, it's not been 20 years. It's not even been 20 days. It's just been barely a week. But we're operating and navigating through a brand new world. And I sincerely hope that you're enjoying this bright new world as much as I am. Well, maybe I wouldn't hope that on you because I'm not enjoying it at all. As a pastor, I'm having to learn how to communicate in a brand new way, on a brand new medium, and, and operate in ways that are unfamiliar to me as I navigate pastoring in a world that has changed dramatically. But I want you to understand something. In the midst of a topsy-turvy world, in the midst of difficulty, panicky people, and difficult situations all around us, God's not moved at all. God's not unsettled. God's not troubled. God's not fearful. God is not anxious. Anxious. See, from the foundations of the earth, he knew that we would be where we are today. And he's already made perfect provision for it. So I'm going to follow Peter's advice as he was speaking to a troubled church in troubled times. He said, cast all your cares upon God because he cares for you. God's nature has not changed. God's character has not changed. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. He is Yahweh, and I will trust in him. The psalmist, in difficult days of his, in his own right, wrote these words. God is our refuge and our strength, our strength, a very present help in times of trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, though the, though the earth gives way. And the, and the mountains fall into the oceans or into the seas with a roar. Speaking of Jerusalem and the church, he says, God is in the midst of her, and he shall not be moved. she shall not be moved. God shall help her at the breaking of dawn. And God will help us, and God is continuing to help us, and God will continue to help us even in this time as we journey towards the dawning of a new day. See, that's how God works. What seems like darkness and difficulty can really, in all honesty, be the dawning of a new day as the church learns new ways, more creative ways of really being the church to a lost and dying world. But in the midst of waiting upon this dawning of a new day, I'll have to admit, I really do miss my Benton First Church family. Even though it's just been a few days, I'm used to being where I can hear your voices and hear the laughter and enjoy the camaraderie and the fellowship that we have as a special gift to this body of believers. But we've just begun. We may be just a few days into this, and this may be something that only lasts a couple of weeks, but it could last several months. We really don't know. It's been escalating quickly, and it is still escalating, so we don't know what tomorrow will hold. So in the midst of it, we have to learn how to be the church in this difficult time. A new way of being the church, which will help us during this time, but I believe also will make us more healthy in the days to come. Therefore, with this in mind, I need your help in a number of key ways. I really need your help as we learn to do different ways, learn to do new things, or learn to do things, relearn how to do things in new and different ways. First of all, Help me invite as many people as we can to this particular group, the Benton First Nazarene Friends Facebook, or the Benton First Church of the Nazarene Facebook site. Furthermore, we're also working on our BentonNazarene.org website to update it and bring it up to date, including all of our information and all of our videos and all of our services, and yes, even Sunday school classes on, the face, on Facebook and uh, YouTube and on our website, a new way of doing things. And also, I need you to also remember to stay in contact with as many people as possible. You'll be hearing over the next few days about different things that we are trying to put into place to, to maintain connect, connect our connectedness and, and also to enhance fellowship in this difficult time. Specifically, a koinonia contact strategy that will broaden and preserve our connectivity during these times. We need one another. Two are better than one. And a cord of three strands is not easily broken. Lastly, I need you to remember that we don't need to assume that everybody's okay. Folks are scared, folks are anxious, folks are lonely, folks are uncertain. And that may be you, but it also may be someone that you need to talk to. 
And I tell you, I need you to understand there are maybe also opportunities for us to offer tangible acceptance, uh, assistance to different people. But you'll never know unless you ask and make yourself available. If you're scared, if you're anxious, if you're fearful, if you're lonely, one way to alleviate that is to alleviate that in another person. The scripture says those who refresh another will themselves be refreshed. In the midst of taking and talking and, and ministering to someone in loneliness and fear is that we speak truths into their life that are spoken back to us that we hope they receive. And then when we they receive and they hear, we ourselves can receive it and find strength to help in our time of need. Don't assume everybody's okay. Be that one who makes a difference. Be Christ in a difficult day. In the next little while, I'll be posting more videos and regarding what the next few days or few weeks may look like regarding worship, Sunday school, uh, different ways that we minister as a church. We've got to move forward and we will move forward in these chaotic times. And by the grace of God, we will come forward and come through stronger than we've ever been. I'm trusting God for it. It is difficult times and it is, they are hard times. But God is God in the midst of it, and God's already made perfect provision for it. Therefore, I will rest in him and will not be afraid. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. <laughs> Lean not to your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him, and he will direct your paths. In the next weeks, in the next days, in the next moments, remember, stay strong, stay true, stay faithful. God is on his throne. And nothing has changed. I love you. And we'll see you shortly.